close your eyes and make up your mind you're going to stay with the breath. You're going to watch the breath as it comes in, you watch the breath as it goes out. And then you watch the next one and the next one. You really stick with this. Once you've made up your mind, you want to stick with it. This quality is called the perfection of truth. When you think about truth, there are two kinds. There's statements that report what's true outside, and then there's statements that create what's true. In other words, when you make up your mind you want to do something, you really stick with it, you've created a new truth. And that's the, really the important part of the path, because the whole path to the end of suffering is a truth that you make happen. It's not that it goes against the way things are in the world. In fact, the, for the path to work it has to go in line with the way things are. But whether you're going to follow the path or not, that depends on you. It's not just going to happen on its own. So you look at the world and you figure out what's good and what's bad in the world, what you should and shouldn't do in re with regard to the world, and then make up your mind you're really going to stick with what you should do. And then you try to be true to that determination. So right now you're going to practice some, some truthfulness here. You make up your mind to stay with the breath, and you really stick with it. Each time it comes in, each time it goes out, when you realize you've slipped off, you come right back. Of course, to stick with it requires you use a little bit of an ingenuity, too, because the determination on its own is not going to make it happen. You've got to find out ways to make it easier to happen. That's why we watch the breath, make sure it's comfortable coming in, comfortable going out. That way it gets easier to stay with. It's more pleasant to stay with. And think about this as you go through the day. You make up your mind that something really should be done. Then the next question should be, what's the easiest way to get yourself to do that and to stick with it? You don't use just the force of your will. You try to figure out ways in, you, in which you can use your discernment. It's in this way that all the various perfections, the perfection of discernment and determination and truth, patience, all of these come together and they strengthen one another. That's how they get perfect. So you want to look at your life and go, what really needs to be done in your life? What needs to be changed? You can make up your mind you really do want to change it, and then stick with that determination. Otherwise you become a traitor to yourself. You're a traitor to your own wisdom. You don't want that. And if you're a traitor to yourself, how can you trust anybody outside? So you make up your mind you're going to stay here, and you, that something is good, and you stick with it. And that quality is what will see you through. Because life has a lot of forces that come from outside that are going to buffet you around, blow you around in different places. And if you can't remain true to your own understanding of what the truth is, of what good, what is right and wrong, then you're just going to get blown around with everybody else. So look carefully at what's skillful and what's not skillful in your life. Make up your mind, okay, whatever is unskillful is not good for me, it's not good for anybody else. Why do I keep doing it? What's the pleasure I get out of it? And then you make up your mind that you're going to find a better pleasure than that, a pleasure that doesn't harm anybody at all. That's when truthfulness really becomes a virtue. You're not just reporting the truth, you're creating a really good truth in the world. Because the truths you report might be good or might be bad, but the truths you create, you want all of those to be good. Because it's in your power. It's something you can do.